all animals. New science breakthrough could allow humans to be grown in labs. UK scientists have successfully grown a mouse embryo in a lab, which indicates this method could be eventually applied to growing artificial human embryos. To grow a mouse embryo, researchers extracted the rodent's embryonic stem cells and extra embryonic trophoblast stem cells. These are the cells that form the placenta. The two types of cells are mixed, placed on a 3D scaffold, then grown in a tank of chemicals that mimics the conditions inside the womb. The cells grew to form a structure that very closely resembled a natural mouse's embryo after 96 hours. The Francis Crick Institute in London was granted permission to genetically modify human embryos last year. This is the first time such a procedure has been approved by regulators anywhere in the world. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Want to know what else can be grown from embryos? We've got a few more stories. Researchers produce mice embryos from non-egg cells. Scientists at the University of Bath in the UK have made a discovery that they say challenges almost two centuries of knowledge on fertilization. It was widely thought that mammals could only be born from an egg fertilized with sperm, but this research bypasses that entirely. The researchers used chemicals to trick mouse eggs into developing as if they'd been fertilized. This produced parthenogenodes, a peculiar type of embryo that dies after a few days. At this point, the embryos had a half set of chromosomes and were in the stages of cell division. It's here that researchers injected them with sperm. These embryos were then inserted into female mice. The process produced 30 mouse pups with a success rate of around one in four. Scientists are trying to grow human organs in pigs. A team of scientists from the University of California, Davis, are attempting to produce human pig embryos in order to grow human organs in pigs. To grow a human organ, such as a pancreas in a pig, one must first remove the DNA that is responsible for growing a pig's pancreas from a fertilized pig embryo using a technique known as CRISPR gene editing. A void is created after the gene editing and human-induced pluripotent stem cells are then injected into the embryo to fill the void. The human pig embryo, known as a chimera, is then implanted into a sow and is allowed to develop for 28 days. Then the pregnancy is terminated and the tissue removed for analysis. The chimera would develop into a normal pig, but one with a human pancreas that would be ready to be harvested for transplant. Human-induced pluripotent stem cells are adult cells that have been reprogrammed into stem cells. They can develop into any tissue in the human body including corneas, lungs, hearts, livers, and kidneys. With pigs serving as biological incubators for human organs, scientists could potentially grow any organ when needed. However, a major concern is that the human stem cells could migrate to the pig embryo's brain, which would make it somewhat human-like. The research is highly controversial, as many are worried that growing human organs in pigs may lead to a new source of animal abuse, despite the fact that it may help to ease the shortage in organ donations in the U.S. Chinese scientists create GMO super dogs. A group of Chinese scientists say they are the first researchers to have used a breakthrough gene editing technology to successfully double the muscle mass of dogs. For this new research, the scientists used 65 beagle dog embryos, focusing in on genes encoded for myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. By injecting the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9 into the embryos, the objective was to knock out the myostatin genes in the dog's DNA. With myostatin out of the way, the beagle's muscles can grow to new extremes. The scientists report two of the pups born showed disruptions in their myostatin genes, a boy they named Hercules and a girl they named Tian Go. Creating more muscular and athletic dogs, this achievement could pump out some freakishly powerful canines for police and the military. This isn't the first time Chinese researchers have applied science to genetically modify animals. They've previously used gene editing techniques on goats, rabbits, rats, monkeys, and even fertilized human embryos. While the scientists say this particular study was undertaken to learn more about gene modification for human medicine, we can only imagine what other Frankensteins they might cook up in their lab. Bruce Banner, eat your heart out.
Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Chinese scientists modify genes of human embryos. Scientists worldwide have renewed calls for a halt to controversial human embryo research after a team of Chinese scientists published a paper on the genetic editing of human embryos. Researchers at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China, hope to modify a gene in chromosome 11 responsible for beta thalassemia, a genetic mutation that reduces production of hemoglobin and results in a lack of oxygen in the body. The embryos used in the research each had an extra set of chromosomes after being fertilized by two sperms, meaning they could not result in a live birth. The research involved injecting the embryos with the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9, which splices DNA at specific locations. Researchers can then modify the gene causing beta thalassemia by programming the enzyme complex to target that specific gene. Of the 86 embryos injected with the enzyme, only 71 survived the initial 48-hour period needed for CRISPR to replace the DNA. Of the 54 embryos that were tested, researchers found that only 28 had successfully spliced, with a fraction of those 28 containing the replacement genetic material. The research team found a surprising number of mutations cropped up as a result of the CRISPR-Cas9 complex acting on parts of the genome other than the target area. Critics say the procedure could produce unknown effects on future generations as all modifications would be inheritable.